So one thing I've been asked a lot is how do you clear the last fight of chapter nine? I'm pretty sure it's right before you unlock your shadows, which would help a ton here. But it's called Back to the Grind. So we're going to talk about it today. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to subscribe. If it's helpful, be sure to hit that thumbs up. In fact, speaking of subscription, about 80% of viewers aren't subscribed. So be sure to subscribe if you are new. So the first thing I'll kind of mention to you is that you always have the option to kind of like anytime you hit a roadblock, you always have the option to just kind of back out, clear any side missions, uh, claim your activity funds, complete dungeons and things like that. Just be just be patient, basically, you know, without lack of a better term, just be patient and gain some levels passively on the side and then come back to whatever content is giving you difficulty and you'll find that you'll have a much easier time, right? Now, with this one, the, the funny thing about this stage is, if I remember correctly, this is the stage that spawns two bosses at the end, the big dude and then the mage in the back. The mage is hella annoying, if I remember correctly, because he gets the shield. Uh, yeah, so always pay attention to the boss passives and the recommended attributes. He gets a shield, so that's obviously pretty annoying. Now, typically, I am overqualified for this fight because my regular team is much stronger than this, uh, but I'm going to use a little bit of a different setup. We're not going to use any shadow. We're going to use a little bit of a different setup and we will kind of run through this uh, with an experimental test. So since the boss is weak to light attribute, I can recommend that you guys use light attribute weapons, right? I'm not telling you that you need, like it's a mandatory thing, but if you are finding your, you're having difficulties, you've tried everything else, you probably haven't because there's more things to do, like level up your skills, level up your artifacts, equip art, blah, blah, blah. There's so many other side things to do in, in terms of improving your characters and Janu, but your characters overall. That will make this easier for you but if you have light weapons you would want to use them the single best light weapon to use in the game right now is the huntsman so this one will dominate this entire chapter and chapter eight by the way if you're struggling with that i also did a video for the double bosses right before egress as well um anyway so use light weapons if you have them that will help you out tremendously and then other than that people talk about the bow i am not a huge fan of the bow personally uh but nonetheless you can kind of use whatever you have I cleared it with this weapon, if I remember cl correctly, along with the plum sword. Now, you don't need type advantage weapons to beat any content in the game. It just makes your life a little bit easier. And okay, that's all I can really say about that. It just makes your life a, just a smidge easier. I'm going to use this weapon instead of like a level one weapon like I initially had. And same goes for the support characters. Uh, you can use light attribute characters to help support. That would make your life as easy as possible. Uh, or you can use SR hunters that are light attribute as well. And uh, that would just, again, be useful for you. Now, in terms of these guys, you obviously would want to level them up if you're going to use them to a degree. Uh, it's up to you how much investment you want to put into them in terms of levels, leveling up weapons that are equipped to them, the artifact sets, excuse me, things like that. That's totally at your own description and, and totally up to you. Um, she doesn't really need this. She doesn't really do much. Uh, in fact, also, I'm pretty sure they just have automatic artifact sets on things. I don't really care about, but these are all different ways you can improve your characters much more and have an easier time. So I've depowered myself and my team by not running my best team or my shadows or anything like that by about 20 K almost naturally a little bit over 20 K. So about 25 K. Um, so my level is over leveled for this, but not by a huge margin. And uh, in terms of Janu and his his uh, stat spread, this is how that looks as well. I have him set with uh, mainly strength for today's video. But and you guys saw the skills that I'm using, although I don't know that those are the best skills. I'd probably change them. You don't need a break skill in this stage. I'm pretty sure there's no break boss. And if there ever is a break on a boss, you want to make sure you're using it. But for this one, that's not really a case. And, you know, that would make your life much easier if you do. But again, I don't think I need it for this one. So. Right now, you want to kind of blitz through this as quickly as possible. Literally, the name is Speedrun. You have to beat through 22 Magic Beasts, and then it'll spawn the double bosses at the end. Uh, when I get to the second part, what I'm going to do is I'm going to ignore the big guy. You don't have to fully ignore him. In fact, I'm pretty sure this isn't one of those stages where if you beat the main boss, the stage ends. Um, you have to beat both of them, I'm pretty sure. But what I like to do is I like to go straight for the damn mage. You can do it differently. The first time I cleared it, uh, I cleared it several times. First time I cleared it, I went for the big guy. And it went for the mage after, right? So you can do it however you want, but I'll probably shoot straight for the mage. The problem if you do it that way is that they're both going to be trying to fight you. <laughs> so, all right, let's lock in and see what we can do. Let's try. Oh, I didn't get that, really? That's lame. I thought for sure I was getting that one. All right, let's get through this as quickly as possible. Thank you for that. Also, I don't have the craziest support characters on my team, 
So that also obviously is slowing me down a little bit. We should already be, be through this guy. I was going to say, he's, he's already up and he should be gone by now. I like avoiding him entirely there. Okay. Playing Raijin right there. The mage in the background. We're going to just eliminate you. Get out of here. Get out of here, damn it. Thank you for the shadow step, my guy. Okay. So far, so good. You're out. And now another big guy showed up. Level 35 big guy. Okay. Okay, we're making pretty good progress. He's the last guy here. Okay, you know what? Let me just give me that. Just, 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 just knock it off with that garbage. Just give me that. Yeah, this weapon's pretty broken. You don't need this weapon, though. Again, it's just I didn't want to use my main weapon, which is the Plum Sword or the, or the Grim One. I just wanted to use something halfway decent. But not what you need. But uh, the point is also you can use whatever weapon you want. Just have it invested in. Like, this one's doing insane stuff. Look at all the crits it's doing. 4K, 5K, a bunch of crits all over the place. Stop hitting me! Okay, so it's time to now beat the boss. I said I was going to ignore and No wonder I'm getting hit so much. We're going to go back here because this guy is super annoying. Really? Seriously? Seriously? There you go. Okay. We're going to use the ultimate here. Like I said, I like to just come to this guy. I didn't realize we were at the stage yet. I've got to be kind of fast because we don't have a lot of time. I kind of got distracted talking about the sword. God dang. <laughs> that took so many lives off. Oh, my God. He had the defense down debuff, too. I'm pretty sure that was from the shadow step. Oh, it is a stage that ends when you beat the... Okay. I didn't think it was. Okay, so you can ignore the big guy entirely. Okay, there you go. <laughs> the shadow step gave him the defense down debuff, and my skill just decimated him. I don't know if you have that skill on this stage, typically. I don't know. You may have the regular ultimate. Maybe not that second one. Because um, I'm not sure if it comes with the job change to Necromancer which I don't think you do until after the stage. So maybe that's something that also is a little bit hectic. But if I were to run it again, now that I know for sure, now that I know for sure it's one of the stages where you can ignore the other guy, let's change my setup again and run it again. Okay. So that well, that makes it so much easier. I, I feel like because the first time I ran it, I actually didn't complete it. Actually, I'm, um, in, I, didn't get, I didn't get through it. I failed. And I realized that I was like, oh, I didn't realize there was another boss back here because I spent all my time fighting the, the other big guy there, but I didn't go to the mage. So first things first, we're going to take this sword off and we're going to actually put on, let's put on this book. I've never used it, but let's put that book on just so I don't fall too much in stats. I lost 1600 stats. Great. Uh, we are going to take off the ultimate as well. We're going to change our ultimate back. Just so there's no confusion. Um, oh, okay. It was right there. Okay. We're going to go to equip skills. We're going to put our ultimate back on. Because I'm not sure if you unlock Mutilate yet. So we're going to switch back to Shadow Tragedy. And the rest of my skills are whatever. They're not even like great skills for this stage. They're just kind of whatever. Um, I am still experimenting with skills a lot. There's just a lot that goes into it. Because artifacts and stuff. There's just so much. Not artifacts. Excuse me. Runes. All right. Let's try. Thank you. We're going to do this. Thank you. Let's see it all. <laughs> throwing fireballs is amazing <laughs> so amazing all right we're back to now this sword it's basically a mini version of the plum sword i really like this sword. look at all the damage it's doing once again even though i'm weaker now technically i love it i love this sword a lot it's really fun just like i said i, I like the plum sword too so it just reminds me a lot of it but i really like that counter sword i was just using that that sword is super fun ah i missed him with that lame we're progressing okay, but a little bit slower than I would like. Can I get that shadow step? There it is. Okay. Yeah, the shadow step is super strong. Do not sleep on your quick time effects. Goodbye. He's <laughs> oh, look at how far you are. Taking these fireballs, buddy. All right, let's get this. Thank you. Who's left? Okay, there we go. Okay, so the boss is in now. It says defeat the boss. So where is he at? Dude, camera. What the hell? What the hell, camera? Stop focusing. Oh, my God. Stop focusing on all... Oh, there it is. Finally. Freaking setting me up for failure, bro. I can't use my ultimate yet. I went through the first stages too fast. I don't have the cooldown done. That's great. <laughs> oh, man. I'd like to get another shadow step then before I do it. Ah, oh, I can get it. Damn it. Damn it. You also want to get to him before he gets the shield too, though. I'm having a tougher time this time. 
Just because of play, though. This is this is not anything to do with the skills or anything I changed. This is just play. This is just me playing. Can I do it now? Okay, let's go. This is going to hit both of them. <laughs> oh, he has a shield, though. Look at it. It's funny, though. Look at it. Look at the damage. He still took a bunch of lives off. The other one's better. Still took a bunch of lives off. I'll take it. We're still at, we're still on pace despite me having a tougher time because of my gameplay. Uh, we're still on pace to clear this. So thanks for canceling that skill. Not like I needed it, right? I see it all. Thank you. The other guy's being more annoying in this round, though. I will say he's being much more annoying. He's being much more annoying with all the freaking kicks he's doing down. And stomps and crap like he's being much more annoying now. Admittedly. Bro, leave me alone. I don't care about you, goddammit. <laughs> bro, bro thinks he's the main character. Leave me alone. Oh my god, are you kidding me? This, okay, I win. <laughs> bro, <laughs> he really thought he was the main character. I swear he thought he was the main character. He would not let me beat this guy. That's his job, though, apparently, is to protect the other guy, which is fair. It's fair, but, like, still, screw that guy. So... Again, though, the main underlying thing, though, is no matter what I change, I'm still over leveled. So you guys are going to be playing this stage like probably four levels lower than I think I was. I think I was 39 when I played this stage. Was it maybe 30? Ah, no, that's that's a little high. It was probably 36 or 34. One of the two. I don't feel like I've gained that many between one chapter. I don't think it's that many levels I've gained between. Oh, no, two chapters. Yeah, I was about 34. Right. Yeah, it was about 34. Okay. So, no matter the fact that I changed myself a lot, I am still overpowered. So, me beating it still isn't the best indicator because I can't rewind my account, unfortunately. But, take the things I said to heart. That'll give you an easier time. I think I think the single biggest tip I offered was just ignore the other guy and you'll get it. Even if it takes you a couple tries, ignore him and you'll get it. All right, guys. I'll see you all in the next one. And again, subscribe if you're new.